welcome to your Wednesday dose of wealth wisdom with me, Daniel Kennedy. I'm just going to share this, get a few more people online, and then we can begin. Uh, and then I can record the episode for the podcast. That's that done. Hello and welcome to your Wednesday Dose with Wealth Wisdom with me, Daniel Kennedy, your host. And today's topic is taking consistent action. This was the second highest topic that was voted for when we did the vote a week and a half ago for subjects for me to cover. And uh, I've already touched on it. So if you want to start taking action, you can head back to the previous episodes and you'll hear my thoughts on that. But this is about taking consistent action for the long term, because after you've been to the event, after you've been really motivated and you're You've seen the potential results. You've seen what you possibly can have out of life. You've decided that you want your life to take off, so you've chosen to it. Um, and then the motivation fades. And what gets you through taking consistent action, even when you're not really getting many positive feedback from the market, uh, might be from marketing and you're not getting many leads or whatever campaign you're doing, it's really helping you see your property journey through will be the habits that you've built up throughout your life. And majority of us will be in possession of quite a lot of bad habits. Uh, and that'll be like giving up, not sticking to the end goal, like not having a higher vision of what you want for yourself. And this might be a property investor, full-time property, a business, multiple businesses, perhaps uh, plenty of staff, money coming in or a figure and your words, thoughts and deeds won't reflect your higher vision or your higher goal uh, and so you'll eventually turn back to the mean and you'll start doing the same actions that you've always done and then getting disheartened when you don't get different results in relation to how you want a property journey to progress and then a year might pass at two years or month one month two month three and you haven't had any progress because you've slowly slipped back uh, you haven't ha been able to maintain or you don't have the discipline or you don't have that collection of habits to see it through to the end to get the results and fortunately the military for myself uh, uh, enabled me to be an action taker from the word go so I was never really struggling with that aspect of it so I was always just do do the work 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 but that is quite a rare trait and for somebody wanting to change their habits you can only really do it every so often you can't just change the person that you are completely you have to start small and my advice for you is to really set the bar low initially when you're wanting to take consistent action and for example perhaps like 50 leaflets a day something really small but when you do that 50 leaflets a day you the action of actually doing them is building the habit within you to take action and then pretty soon, like the disciplines in the beginning that are so difficult, the disciplines that got you going become part of your philosophy. And you don't have to think about it. You, it just happens and you occur and it, it just occurs. Um, and like, for instance, going to the gym, it's always everything. It's always the first day or the first week or the first month. That's the hardest. And it gets easier the longer you do it. But you need to. Like when your motivation is up here and you're do, taking the action, when the motivation fades, and it will, because there are going to be some days where you don't feel perfect, you don't feel like you want to go out, you don't feel that this is working, 
that's when you need the discipline to pick you up to see you through to the end. So it's always good to have a higher vision of what you want to be. And then whenever you have a thought or have an action that isn't in alignment with your higher vision of yourself, um, you need to correct it. You need to like say, let listen, have a little think about it and not do it again. And so to, instead of being vague, I'm going to give you like an example. So, uh, I, I, I say I want to be a, a mad fitness guy and really, really good body. And then that's my higher vision of myself. And I need to remind myself with that every day. So it would be a good idea to have a morning mantra where I say, I am somebody who eats well, who is healthy, who trains on a regular basis, who doesn't eat unhealthy food um, and keep on doing that. And eventually that will become a part of you. And then whenever throughout the day, because you're going to break, you're human. We all are. Consistent action. It's always the hardest thing to do. When you have a thought where you say, I'd really like a massive fat chocolate bar or whatever, or I'm going to go and go to Cabri World like somebody did today. Um, have a, like a few minutes reflection on why you did that and perhaps keep a journal and try and think to the higher vision of yourself where you want to be that end, say Instagram fitness model or whatever it is. Uh, and, and for me at the minute, I've also to really, really maintain the consistent action taken is I've injected a lot of accountability into my life recently. So I've set a few goals and there's a group of us that meets each week and it has transformed the way that I spend my time. Um, so I'll show you actually. So right there, you can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, for those of you who are listening. And I've got goal one, two, and three. So goal one is to write a journal every night. Uh, and you can see the first week there, I only did it four times out of seven. And then the next week, I did it five times out of seven. And then now I'm set to do six times out of seven. And next week I'm hoping to get seven times out of seven. So if I didn't write this down and monitor it and see the progress of me changing my life, because one of the goal is to be ready and working for nine o'clock and have all my morning administration done, be that pull-ups, be that um, reading my mantra and answering emails. My goal too is to keep a journal and my goal three is to organize my time using Google, uh, using the Google Calendar. And when they become a part of me, I'm going to switch the goals around because pretty soon I won't need to focus on doing this. I won't need to give any mental capacity to enforce myself to get up and do it. It'll become part of my being. It'll become a discipline that's within me. It'll become a habit and then I don't need to think about it. And then I can move on to different goals. And that's all we are, really, when we're involved in business. We're a collection of habits. And to change a habit is really, really difficult. It takes a lot of mental capacity, physical effort. Uh, and a great way is to build a group. So there's, I'm trying to get to 10 people. There's currently six. And we all go around. So person one says, my goals are da 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 for example. And then together as a group, we build action steps to ensure that person meets that goal. Then we go on to the next person, the next person, and the next person. And then the following week, we then the person comes back, says, this is what I did. I didn't reach my goal. This is what I think the reasons are why. Shall we change the plan a little bit? And then the rest of the team will then give their input. And everyone who's been involved in this has seen an improvement. You have people who have got increased sales. You've got people who are training more and being more productive within the hours of the day. You've got myself, who's so more organized. I plan my day by the hour now, and I'm absolutely really, really, like my whole motivations come back for a property. I'm really loving life because when, like the less you do, the less you want to do. And it's the same, the more you do, the more you want to do. And it's a snowball effect where pretty soon, like for me, getting up at eight o'clock because I had the structure of the military, which forced me to get up and that was taken away. And I became a slob. I was getting up at 11, working really late, keeping, not keeping on top of all the paperwork and all the admin things were slipping. And now I find myself because of this goal and I'm being... Uh, the, the four is different that I'm being held accountable. So I'm being forced 
I know on Thursday, if I don't have my goals, I'm going to have to tell it in front of the team I didn't reach my goals. And that is really motivating me for consistent action. And eventually this will become part of me and I won't need to think about it. And now I'm already like getting up at seven o'clock because I'm making sure like one of the action steps was to be in bed for 11. Don't take my phone upstairs, start reading. Uh, and I'm asleep by five past 11 and I don't need that many hours. So I'm usually I'm up about seven already and it's only been three weeks. Uh, and that's just one goal. And then I plan to maybe change it with a bit more marketing, a bit more offline marketing, and then slowly but surely just keep building positive habits and actually take a conscious effort and trying to change myself as a person, as opposed to just expecting it and letting it happen. Because um, we all know you're the top five average of the people you spend the most time with. You'll hear me say it because it's true. And you've got to like, I'm now living and aiming for the person that I'm going to be. So I'm thinking like I'm going to be a person that has, who's financially free, who doesn't have to worry about money, who is doing multiple deals, providing homes, not slacking, doing lots of things with their life, experiencing things. So when I have stuff that isn't in alignment with that higher vision, I then write it down in the journal, which is part of my goal, and it all feeds into itself. Because um, like, why, why bother if you're going to, if, if you're going to get involved in business, you need to, every aspect. You need to be working on yourself. You need to be beating the next person to the left and right of you, or else you'll just get left behind. Like success isn't a destination that you reach; it's a journey. It's a journey that never ends, um, and you always need to be trying to get that naught point naught 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 one percent better. And taking the first step is always the hardest bit, and then the next step is taking the step consistently. Like a week, two weeks after an event when you're all pumped up, you're all hyped up from all the endorphins and and you're really, really wanting to change your life. It's really fairly easy to take those initial steps. But then when, as I say, when the motivation fades, you need to be instilling disciplines, instilling habits that will see you through to the end. Because there were some months and some weeks where I would spend £500 a weekend and I'd be getting to the £3,000 mark and I hadn't had a call. I was doing the bandit boards, doing the radio ads, doing the leaflets doing the time, the time as well. Um, and I didn't have a call. And the, the thought never even entered my process to give up because I knew it worked because I'd had plenty of uh, positive references when I was um, leafleting in Hartlepool. So taking consistent action is what will set you apart from the people who come in the industry. You'll see them for a, a couple of months. You'll see them do loads of marketing and then they get distracted by life because life is just plenty of distractions every experience seems to be a distraction so having yourself a group which you hold each other accountable will have untold positive benefits for you because that person has made the effort to come there arrive they are wanting to change their life they're wanting to complete these small goals because as you complete these small goals they feed into each other and then the bigger goals will just happen because you've built up the positive like you've you, you've built yourself into a person that can handle the stress, can handle the the negotiation required to get these big deals through. You've built up the contacts, you've built up the social connections. Um, you're not a social retard. You're able to relate to people. You're able to relate to sellers, and you just become more successful. And it all feeds into yourself. Your social life will get better. Your ability to communicate with business partners and raise finance will get better and the more you talk that's why i'm doing this and you'll definitely see a change from episode one to now as i begin begin to get more competent at this uh, and that's why i'm a big advocate of doing videos and putting yourself out there whether the content is good or not because you're going to improve and those skills will then sort of bleed into other aspects of your life because it's all it's, it's all connected like you're not just an independent island you need to work with other people like a task halved is much better than like it's better to have half a pie than 100% or nothing, as we say. Um, so if you're really struggling with consistent action, you find you go to the event, you come back, you've got a plan and you're just not taking it out, my advice to you is get a group of you together, meet once a week, set small goals and set initially, set the bar really low, set it really low because even the the feeling of completing that really low bar will inspire you to do a bigger goal and that's how it works and then you get a bigger goal and a bigger goal and a more tougher goal and you become eventually you become a person who can do that 
you grow into the person like you create a dream that's so big or create a vision of yourself that grow big that's so big or a goal that's so big that you have to change as a person to reach that goal and you need to grow into that um because if you're not growing you're stagnating and it's something like you have to have a rational fear of failure like you have to have a rational fear of failure um not be scared of failing but have a fear of, fa of a failure of life and what i mean by failure of life is not achieving not not giving bringing anything to the market not adding value to some person or some group of people in any way um because then w w why are we even here if we're not adding value if we're not creating and we're all big creation machines like every moment second minute hour we're like creating new thought processes as fast as we can think um and like everything that we see here now right now was just like it started with a thought and then somebody spoke it out and then the thought manifested itself into an idea and the idea was spoken and then slowly but surely the person who created the table the microphone the camera we everything started from a thought and so you need to be making sure that your brain your subconscious is on your side because we're programmed not to do anything we're programmed to stay in our little comfort zones and taking action and getting out there and leafleting bandit boards um negotiating with sellers it's all out of the comfort zone for the majority of people like asking people for money is very very difficult and initially you might not feel that you can do that but taking these small action steps you will grow into a person who can so never underestimate the tiny thoughts that are in your head that say don't do that it won't work i can't do that i'm not going to do this don't entertain those thoughts they're not going to help you. you what you need to do is set small goals really 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 small goals and what do i mean by small goals i mean maybe you press the snooze button five times try and press it only three times and then the next week try and only press it one time but you've got to write it down and document it so in like two years two three years you can look back read it and say bloody hell I can't like, and you can relate to the challenges and the the stress and the difficulty of the goal you're trying to meet today with the person that you were two years ago, and you'll realize how small the goal was back then in comparison to the goal now. Um, so get an accountability group. Like it is revolutionized the way that I think now. I'm much more happy. No, much more. I'm in a much more passionate position, and I, I feel really, really excited for the day. Like I am looking forward to Thursday so much, so I can go and talk to her about how well i've done this week with the goals um it's like really reinvigorated me in, in many ways and being able to connect with other people that are doing that it's it really has transformed the way that i'm thinking so taking consistent action get yourself accountability group watch your thoughts words and deeds you need to have a higher vision of yourself and think what would that person do when you're in this set or how would that person react um like would he would a property investor would a multi-million entrepreneur property investor press snooze and sleep to 10 o'clock no they wouldn't so force yourself while thinking of that higher vision of acting like the person that you want to be and eventually you'll grow into that like step away from the bad thoughts words and deeds that you have and really be conscious because half the time we um like being an entrepreneur and being a businessman it's mainly just a step into consciousness because we spend half the time of our life just unconscious where we're not thinking we're not we're not guarding what happens in our subconscious and the only thing that most people will like they'll feel the effects of their thoughts words and deeds in either a negative or a positive way and they won't attribute to them to their thoughts words and deeds so for instance say your your bills are late you're not being paid you're you're in a crappy job and you'll just feel the effects and you won't realize that it's you that's caused this situation. Like the world is your view as you see it. Um, like you're the one that has decided what it is, no one else. Uh, and you're the one that can change it. Like it's much easier to change what you were doing than what another is doing. And as soon as you say, I did this, I'm the one that chose this manner this this thing to be the way that it is the sooner you can change it for the better whether that's your thought whether that's the actions that you take whether that's the friends that you keep or the family that you keep or the investments that you make um 
and it's, it's a long process, but the alternative is, is to just go on the downward spiral and just remember success isn't a destination that you reach. It's a journey that's constant. Think of it that you're on a muddy hill and if you stop, you're going backwards slowly. You always need to be driving on, growing, 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 growing. And the best way of that to do is take consistent action and revel in the fact that you're succeeding at these small goals. Be really happy. Pump yourself up. Like Although for most people, getting up at 8 o'clock um, and being ready for work, work for nine is the norm. But when I became my own boss and I had the military strip away the discipline, I became a right slob. Uh, and now that I'm getting back into it, I'm feeling really invigorated. And it's all thanks to the accountability group. So get yourself one. If you're in Birmingham, join ours. We've still got two spaces. Um, and you will be absolutely astounded with the person that you will become if you stick to this and you're constantly making these goals and you're taking consistent action because success in any matter of life is all about doing that one more, like doing that one extra session, doing that one extra week, doing that one extra month, making that one extra sale. And when you're doing this in every aspect of your life, it's just going to take off because you've chosen to, you've chosen it to, you, you've said that you're going to mind your thoughts, words and deeds, and it's going to take off. And it will if you take consistent action. Right, thank you for joining me. I know it's um, an unsociable hour, uh, and I hope you've got a lot, of vent, a lot of value from this because I feel this is a subject, probably one of the more important ones out of all the subjects that I've done because if you're not doing this, the other things are not going to take off. You might be good at raising finance, but if you're not taking consistent action, you're not going to have any deals to put it into. You might be able to make business relationships, but if you're not taking any consistent action, you might struggle to raise finance, etc. cetera. So take, like, get the fundamentals right and realize that business is a, it's, it's, it's a base. Like if you are not running a successful business and you're trying, you're taking the action steps, you're not realizing what's going wrong or what's not working for you. Perhaps you're not the person that's right for the business. That doesn't mean that's going to be that case forever. Perhaps you need to grow into that, a person that can become in that. Uh, perhaps you need to grow into a person that can become good in that industry. And that is very possible with an accountability group and small goals each day. So making like five phone calls, et cetera, can be a goal. And then once you hit that goal, fantastic. Talk about it, reevaluate uh, re whether you can do it a little bit better, get that 0, 0, 0, 0, 1% better. Um, and because you've got to have patience with property. I know it's really, really difficult to like look on and see people who are doing really well, doing loads of deals. But what you don't realize is even say they were only in property for say three, four years, the 20 or 15 years prior to them getting involved in the industry, they would have been doing something like this, like minding their words, thoughts and deeds, constantly reaching the little tiny goals each day, getting that 0.001% better each day, becoming better and not bitter, like really believing that you can do anything, you can be anything and you can have anything. Um. And then when they step into industry, that they're, they're successful, but they would have been successful in any industry that they chose um, because they, they got the fundamentals right. They took the consistent action. They built up the good collection of habits to be able to sustain the stress, to be able to build the di diplomacy skills that you're going to need to speak to various parties, to be able to be socially calibrated, to bring all the different parties together and make, make it a win-win for everyone involved. Um, and doing that is basically just get your small goals, make the bar really low, get an accountability group and just just, just choose to have your life take off. Um, if you've got any comments on this, I'd really love to chat to you about it because I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the middle of a real whirlwind revolution for me now. Um, to be honest, I want to go and work now, but I, I know I've got rules, I've got schedules that I need to stick to. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about every day and it wasn't always like that. Um, and it's the accountability group that's done it for me. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really indescribable of the, the shift that it's had in my mentality. Um, I'm achieving more, I'm doing more, but also I'm, I'm programming into my days now because I'm one of the other members of the group explained that a uh, Google Calendar is a really good tool. I'm, I'm programming in rest time, I'm programming, I'm even programming in naps. <laughs> It's absolutely fantastic. I'm having more time to entertain myself. I'm having more time to work. I'm being more productive when I work to the point where um, I'm, I'm now calling other people up within my team 
to say like, listen, we need to do this, we need to do that, we need to blah, 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 blah pushing on. And hopefully th- this will bleed over into their sort of productivity. Um, right. I am heading off now because I need to send some ID docs uh, and I would have normally forgot about, but uh, thanks to my calendar, I, it's on my to-do list. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Take action, choose for your life to take off and it will. And realize you've got to be patient to be successful. If you're not successful now, maybe you need to grow into the person that who can become successful. And it may, it may not just be taking over. It may not have taken off for you yet, but it doesn't mean it won't in the future. So just be patient, stick at it, and take consistent action. This is Daniel Kennedy, the World Dragon Coach. I hope you found a lot of value out of this. Um, you can follow the previous episodes uh, where we touch a whole plethora of subjects. Um, yeah. And 